Hola, today we are going to learn how to face a PhD interview successfully. Now, this PhD interview is going to be a crucial part towards getting admission into any PhD course. In such context, today we will discuss about some 10 tips to face PhD interview successfully and win yourself. Welcome, I'm Sam from PhD Study Tips. The first tip, prepare thoroughly your research topic. Now, it so happens that when you face PhD interview, you are not in a position really to prepare the research topic properly and thoroughly. And if you don't prepare research topic properly and thoroughly, how can you defend there? How can you convince the doctoral panel in the interview? Or how can you really put that strong opinion uh, about your research there? So it's very important that you prepare thoroughly the research topic or area of interest that you are going to research all these three years. So there you need to say this is very, very important. So if you practice everything and leave out this part, like uh, your research topic and area of interest, you, you are going to fail in the interview. So my suggestion, but topmost tip is prepare excellently, thoroughly your area of interest and then move ahead. My second tip, whenever you want to choose any research topic or area of interest, you need to really think about latest topic. Do not take those old beaten bush topic that everybody has everybody has been taking all these generations all these years do not take such topics because you may lose chance for others while in phd interview they may prefer others so that is why if you want to be preferred by the doctoral committee or the interview panel you must be very <clears throat> clear about the latest topic, the trending topic, maybe two years onwards. If you read some newspapers, you will know it very well. What are the trending topics and what are not? What are the old topics of uh, interest? Well, you will know it automatically or else you can meet your professors and ask what could be one new topic that I can research. So in this way, my second tip is if you take latest topic, and that is it. You are going to win the PhD interview because usually uh, any university wants some new innovation, new creativity, thinking, research so that you are a <clears throat> benefit to the university. Surely you are going to be selected. If at all you opt, choose the latest topic and present it in front of the doctoral panel. And my third tip is be passionate. Like uh, so, so many times uh, we see that people, uh, those who go for the interview are not so much passionate. You are doing PhD course just because somebody has told you to do or you are doing PhD for the sake of getting some better job. You are doing PhD for, for a kind of status in the society. But if you don't have passion to research, to think and research, to contribute to the society, then you are a failure because research is not something that you can enjoy if you have all these in your mind. Okay, you can have as a secondary option, but primarily you must have interest and passion to do research and the doctoral committee is going to observe this particular quality in that interview phase. And so you must be very careful during that interview not to let yourself show that you are not so much passionate. So you have to puff up with vigor and you must be very active 
within that 10 minutes or 15 minutes or maybe half an hour face interview time. So be passionate. That is very, very uh, important. Not only being passionate, but you must show others in the doctoral committee that you are passionate and only that is the only skill that can fetch you the admission. So be, this is my third tip. And fourth tip is be ready to answer some important questions like you may get questions like how to questions and why to questions. So you have to be ready in the PhD in PhD interview to face how questions. Now, what are these how questions like, for example, uh, how are you going to do research all these year three in the upcoming three years? There you have to answer them. What you're going to do exactly? What's your plan there? How are you going to select resources because you have chosen a new topic? Now you have very less resources. How are you? Uh, how will you go about that? <clears throat> then how uh, how efficient are you to do research? What do you what do you, how do you think about yourself? These are some how questions, how you can, can, how will you be conducting some experiments and coming to why questions, why, why do you want to pursue PhD with our university, <coughs> not other university? Why is that you have chosen only this topic over other, other latest topics? So you may get these questions how and why. So you have to be very careful to answer them. I'll give you uh, like some tips later. Um, I'll make a special video. Uh, what are all the questions? But we can't expect the questions. It all depends uh, at that particular point of time. Doctoral panel may feel in such a way questions will vary for person to person. So you have to be ready to answer at least. That is a very, very important. So once you are ready to answer that, that's it. Over. And next coming, next point is your publications. Now, if you, if you have any track record or history that you have published some paper somewhere, or you have attended some conferences, that will be a big plus to you. If, if you have not done, if you are a fresher, well and good, that has no impact as long as you show your passion over there. So, but if you have some publications before the interview, uh, like during the interview, you, you can tell them so that you have a little bit score there. Your publications and conferences, don't be shy to tell them. Tell them whether it is a Scopus Index Journal, SEA, or uh, it is a normal journal. Don't worry. Just go ahead telling about your uh, publication area. That's one thing will uh, give you success in the interview. And <clears throat> uh, using ready-made sentences. No, no, you have when you go there in the interview panel, you must be always using some sentences ready-made. You have to prepare them beforehand. But I can help you by telling some ready-made sentences which are very good to listen to and which you can use in the interview panel. For example, if uh, someone is guiding you like over your topic there, doctoral panel, one of the members may be telling you something. Yeah, okay, you, this is what, this is what. So you can respond them this way. Um, yes, uh, in fact, it is true. Yes, in fact, it is true. Yeah, surely I will take into consideration your opinion. Uh, and I will uh, try to add your point in my research. So, see, these are the sentences uh, you have to use, whether you like or not, whether you agree or disagree with the opinion of the doctoral panel. If they are suggesting you something during that interview time, please use some ready-made sentences. I'm very happy to <coughs> consider uh, these points which you have just given me. Yeah, in fact, it's a very good idea. Uh, I like the way you have uh, <clears throat> you are giving me the ideas. So see, you use some ready-made and positive, uh, uh, positive influencing sentences. Like, don't uh, if you don't like, don't say no. I don't want to take that point. 
no i don't agree with that so don't negate because this is not a debate at all or argument so here what you have to do is you have to listen completely to what your doctor panel is suggesting you after listening to you so that's one thing if they are giving any advices or suggestions go ahead take them take them and that that will benefit you and apart besides all this what i've been speaking to you very important things there are still some small points which you need to really uh, take it take it into account the first thing is learn by heart about yourself tell about yourself there this is called self introduction you have been listening to this for all the time but here self introduction is something different it's not like giving in the job interview here you have to give research oriented self introduction like for example uh, don't just tell what's your name and education word no instead of that uh, you speak more about your publications your the way you have had interest in uh, in that particular topic and uh, how what what kind of projects you have done previously during your pg post graduation or how did you spend uh, um, uh, researching in some topics try to include more stuff of this and less uh, about your education okay you have to tell all that but don't uh, stress more about your publications level if at all you have such otherwise okay well and good just tell about yourself that gets all done next dress code and dress code you have to proper dress uh, prop you have to uh, dress properly in, in the sense like uh, depending upon the culture where you live now, if you live in usa practice us culture if you live in india practice indian culture if you live in uk you practice uk's culture so whatever the culture acceptable at that particular locality you try to maintain that proper dress code and that's very very important because dress code speaks confidence and people feel to see you it's a visual appeal so they feel they uh, when you dress properly all the senses will be very positive uh from the part of the doctoral committee so that's how psychological impact is there uh, 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 the way we wear our dress and next smile so when you speak to them just smile don't laugh showing your teeth totally that's not what i tell smile smile does not mean that you have to do something over here smile you can smile with your eyes now you can just observe my expressions so i'm trying to smile but my eyes are still in that way like constraining some way uh, so do not do that way like smile with your eyes yes so this is how you need to put smile into the eyes into the jaws over the face smile must occupy and that shows your doctoral panel that you are positive you are ready to listen to them you are appreciating them you are fond of them you are fully there so try to do but don't give a uh, awkward smile or awkward look do not look creepy there that's very very important the smile throughout the have a that uh, 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 smile throughout the phd interview and next do not debate at all if at all if you are emotionally weak or if you have short temper do not show there so that's very dangerous do not argue do not debate do not criticize do not uh, um disagree with the points what your doctoral committee is suggesting so you have to take all these points into regard last but not least when you go when you enter the interview hall wish your doctoral panel if it is good morning or good afternoon you wish them and uh, they may ask you to take take this chair and you just sit down there while again leaving the hall just to say thank you maintain eye contact while you speak throughout the interview so these are some of the tips by if from all the tips what i have been telling you if you want to be successful in the phd interview this one tip that i specially 
have I, I have chosen specially now is be thorough with your research topic try to defend it try to convince your doctoral panel you are able to bring out some result with that topic that means you must have some knowledge about topic that plays 60 percent role uh, in getting the ph in getting the admission into any university and now these all these rules will apply even to any other uh, postdoctoral opportunities too so i wish you best of luck if you are facing phd interview take some of my points and try to uh, use them so that you can become successful if you want more information you can also visit my website phdstudytips.com uh, i'm there helping you a lot with a um, good amount of articles i've been writing uh, to help some phd students so thank you a lot goodbye